Hello everyone, it's me the Popcorn Colonel, and tonight I'm reviewing Cowboys and Aliens. It's not the worst movie I've ever seen, but it's definitely not good. Let's take a look. Before I get started, I do want to warn you with a spoiler alert. But trust me, if you haven't seen this movie yet, I'm not spoiling anything. Basically, all you need to know about this movie can be summed up by the title, Cowboys and Aliens. So the story goes, a guy wakes up in the desert. He doesn't know who he is, and he has a weird futuristic bracelet thing on his arm. Some thugs decide to jump him, which was a bad idea because he ends up beating him up and killing him. Then he takes all their clothes and wanders to the nearest town for some drinks. After he meets Olivia Wilde, My name's Ella. he gets recognized by the sheriff and arrested. But on his way to the courthouse, the whole town gets attacked by aliens. Daniel Craig manages to shoot one of them down with his bracelet thing, but not before a lot of the townsfolk get abducted, including Harrison Ford's son, who is played by that awesome kid from There Will Be Blood. After which, Harrison Ford puts together a raiding party to go after the people that were abducted by the aliens. You're going with us. I need that weapon. It's the only thing that counts. Along the way, they run into some of Daniel Craig's old posse. They try to rob him, but he kills the leader and they run away as everyone gets attacked by aliens. This results in Daniel Craig and Olivia Wilde taking a ride on a flying ship and falling into water before Olivia Wilde gets attacked and Daniel Craig shoots an alien in point blank range. Olivia Wilde dies, but it turns out she's actually a good guy alien and she comes back to life during a weird Indian ceremony. I'm from a different place. I took this form so I could walk among you. After which, Daniel Craig drinks some hallucinogens and remembers where the aliens are hanging out. I know where they are. The Indians end up joining the group, and Harrison Ford leads the Look, attack on the alien we ship. We can't just run around hollering and throwing spears and shooting arrows at the damn thing. Before the fight, Daniel Craig runs away, but he comes back with what's left of his old posse to help fight the aliens. During the final fight, a lot of people get killed, including Harrison Ford's adopted Native American son. I would have dreamed of having a son like you. Daniel Craig slips into the alien ship with the Olivia Wilde alien and they blow it up using the bracelet that he's been wearing. In the end, Harrison Ford is nice to his son and cleaned up. Daniel Craig is sort of sad and he rides off into the sunset. Cowboys and Aliens is what happens when you take a joke too far. It's fun to say Cowboys and Aliens and it's sort of fun to think about Cowboys and Aliens but it's not really fun to watch a two hour movie trying desperately to string the two together. And the story was terrible. There basically wasn't any character development at all either. I actually read the comic book that this was based on, and it wasn't any better. I really don't know what John Favreau was thinking. This was a real mess. Maybe you don't know who I am. Actually, the only two cool things about this movie was the arm bracelet cannon, which was basically just another rendition of the Iron Man handgun, and Harrison Ford, who gave a better performance than he did in Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull. For this and many other reasons, I give this movie one out of a possible five pop kernels. Stay away from this one. It's not worth the two hours it takes to watch it. And that's the Colonel's final word. Keep popping and see you next time.